lesson 98. This one is on distance between two points and then slope formula. All right. Um, earlier, uh, last lesson, you learned the Pythagorean theorem, right? Yep. And we learned that if something was A, 4 squared, plus B, 7 squared, equals C squared, okay? Yep. Now, when we did this, um, we ended up, ended up getting 16 plus 49, which would equal 65. Yep. So, 65 equals C squared. Yep. Do you remember how to get rid of that square where it says C equals? Square root. So, when we move this across the equal, it changes to the opposite, which is this. So, C equals square root of 65. Now, what you're going to learn to do is to do this on a coordinate system. Okay, can you see the book real well? Yep. Okay. On a coordinate system, here's what the question, is, question says. Find the distance between the points whose coordinates are 4, 2, negative 3, negative 2. So, for example, I'm going to quickly draw and then I'm going to refer back to the book. But I just want to show you this real quick. says that the first coordinates is 4, 2. So that means 4 is x and y. It's always in this order, x, y. Yep. This is x and this is y. Yep. Okay? Y goes down, x cross, cross. Okay. So if x is 4, it's a positive. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Yep. And then y is a 2. That means either go up or down. Yep. Um, y, positive 2, so up. 1, 2. That's that spot. Then the second coordinate they give us is negative 3, negative 2. Again, this is x and this is y. Okay. So negative 3 would be 1, 2, 3 to the left because uh -huh. it's negative, and negative 1, 2 down, 1, 2. Yep. Okay, now what they're wanting you to do is to take something like a ruler, but if you have graph paper, it works really good, but you would take this and we would draw a line. Okay? Yep. Now, the next thing they want you to do is once you draw this line, you can either go up like that, or you can go down like that. But yes. I'm going to just go down since it's easier. So basically, that would mean since I'm on a 2 right here, Negative two. I'm going to go over and put a dot here. You see how I'm staying on the line with this, and I'm staying in line with this? Yep. That line right there? Yep. And this line right here. Yep. Okay. So then you just ask yourself. They're going to just give you this, those two points. And then you've got to do this. Yeah. Now once you've got your square. Triangle. You, I'm sorry. <laughs> My brain is a little shy. It's a little late at night. So, yes, triangle. Once you've got your triangle, then you're going to ask yourself, okay, how many units long is this? Yeah. So, you see these, each um, step or jump is one. Mm -hmm. So, here is one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. You see how the lines are right here? Yep. I'm just staying in line with the lines. Mm -hmm. Okay. This, so this means that this is seven units long. Seven units. Not seven inches, not seven feet. These are called units. Yep. Okay. And now this one. Again, one, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this one is four inches or four units. units long, okay? And how I did that is, you see this, this, that's one. This to this is two. This to this is three. Yep. And this to this is four. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now, they're wanting to know, what is that? Okay? Find the distance between the points. Find the distance between the points. So we had to do this to figure out this and this. Uh -huh. So now we go, this is A, this is B, and this is C. So we say uh, A squared, 4 squared, plus 7 I squared gotcha. equals C squared. Mm -hmm. And we just did this problem. Yep. And C equals what? C equals square root of 65. So the answer is square root of 65 right here. Even though I that gotcha. doesn't give us a perfect number, that is the perfect number. That's because yeah. that's what it is. Well, it'd be the prime numbers, but... Right, and this doesn't break down into times, I yeah. believe. They don't actually do that on those. Okay. They just put whatever that is right there. Okay. All right.
You feel like you got it? Yep. Let's do you wanna try one more or you think you got it? I mean you can do one more. Okay, let's do one more just to make sure. Okay. This one says find the distance between the points, and here's the points. Three, negative four, and negative five, two. Okay? So here we go. Three negative four is one, two, three, negative four, right here. And negative five, two, negative one, two, three, four, five, positive two. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to want to draw this line. All right, and again, do you remember how to do this? You go like this. Boom. So I'm basically going to go up this line that I have right here, and I'm going to go over this line, and I will have a spot. Okay? Yeah. Then I count how many units this is. So one unit, two units, three units, four units, five units, six. And then this one is... One unit, two units, three units, four units, five units, six units, seven units, eight. So eight and six. Okay? And so we put eight and six back in here. Eight and six. And we come up. And I'm not going to do the math because we've done that before. And you would get your answer. Okay? So that is um, the first part of the lesson. Now, the second part of the lesson, make sure you're paying attention. This is doing slope formula. Now, um, here's, what, here's what it says. First of all, let's look at something real quick. Okay? Slope formula, you always read a slope um, on a line, on a coordinate system from left to right. So this was an upward positive slope. Positive slope, positive slope. Okay? So what you're going to do is find the slope of the line that passes through this and this. So let's go on and draw, um, and I want to show you something. All right, um, let's find the slope of the line that passes through the points, and here it is. It's negative 3, 4, and 5, negative 2. Okay, so we listen to how it, how it says it, to find the slope of the line that passes through the points. So here we go, um, negative 1, 2, 3, up, 1, 2, 3, 4, right there. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, negative 1, 2, 5, 2. Okay, so there's our line. Okay, now, those are just the points. And they want to know what is the slope of this line. That's the question. So, let me show you the slope formula when you have the points. Mm -hmm. Okay, it is M, which is our letter for slope. M is the slope. You're going to put Y... 2, and you're going to put a 2 at the bottom right here, okay? Mm -hmm. Y2 minus Y1 all over X2 minus X1. You always do that no matter what. This is what you use. Okay. Now, you could put Y1, Y2, but yeah. then you have to put X1, X2. But that's always... And the, the 2 and the 1 are um, the first Y, and the, or so that's the first always... X, second X. That's always the formula. Uh huh. Okay. But you can change one two one yeah. two. Yeah. Okay. Or two one two one. It doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. Okay. So I'm going to take the second y. So this would be the first group. This would be the second group. This is my x. This is my y. This is my x. This is my y. Yeah. So the second group y, the y that's from the second group. This two does not mean squared. It means the y from the second group. Yes. The y from the second group is what? Negative two. Negative two. Okay, I'm going to put it in parentheses. Yeah. Okay? The Y, I'm going to put all of them in parentheses. Okay? That's, that's probably a smart move, especially with this minus here. It's going to get confusing. Yes. So, the Y from the second group, what's the Y from the first group? Four. Four. Now, what's the X from the second group? Five. Five. And the X from the first group? Negative three. Okay. Now, I'm going to go and change my minuses to plus opposite, plus opposite. Good. Now, negative 2 plus negative 4 negative makes six. a negative 6. 5 plus a positive 3 makes an 8. eight. Reduced, uh, 2 negative will go on, 3 fourths. To both of them, 3 and 4 bring my negative over. 
The answer is sleep negative three fourths. That is my slope. You don't have to label it or anything. You just that's the answer. Right. Okay. So basically, what this means is slope. Remember rise and run. Yes. Rise over run. Well, because it's a negative. You see that? Yes, it's going down. Do you see how we're going down? Yes. It's a negative. From left to right. Uh huh. So this would be like down one two three over one two three four. As you can see, we would hit the next part of the line. Yes. Down three, one, two, three, over four. We would hit another part of the line. Yes. So this is considered the slope, and that's how you determine the slope with coordinates. Got it? Yep. Let's do one more, and then we're done. All right, here we go. The numbers they give us are five, negative two, and... X is on top, right? For the negative formula. three, four. Huh? X is on top in the formula. It goes y, y x. two minus y one okay. over x two minus x one. And that's what m equals. You need to know that formula. So I'm going to put the second y from the second group. So this is the first group. This is the second group. X, y, x, y. The y from the second group is four. I'm putting everything in parentheses. The, oh, sorry. The y from the second group is 4. The y from the first group is negative 2. The x from the second group is negative 3. The x from the first group is 5. Okay? Now let's do, change my minuses to plus the opposite of that. Plus opposite. Okay. So 4 plus 2 is 6. And negative 3 plus negative 5 is negative 8. Reduced, 3 fourths, negative. Negative 3 fourths, mm -hmm. again. All right, and if I graphed it and we would do that, it would show the same thing. And because this shows the negative, it shows me that it's going to be going down because you read a graph from left to right. All right? Mm -hmm. That is lesson 90.